Hi family, how are you? How are you? Hope all is well. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth on this Sabbath. How are you, my beloved, my kings, my queens? How are you? Um, greetings from the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua. Greetings, guys. Um, I just came on a quick... Um, I just came on to share something with those that um, you know your times and seasons and um, you really want to know what's going on with this whole eclipse. We're like, why Why is this one so different? Why are they keep talking? Why, they, why is people doing videos on this eclipse on the 8th of April? Okay, so before we get into that, let me pray um, story time, then I'll get into the whole eclipse thing, okay? All right, Heavenly Father, we thank you, we glorify, we honor you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for this weekend, the Sabbath. We thank you for, um, um, as we go into the second week of um, April, we thank you for the month of April. I cover my brothers and sisters under the sound of my voice in the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Yeshua. Lord, um, let me decrease for you to increase. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Sweet Holy Spirit, come and have your way in this video. Speak for me and um, speak to your people put me into remembrance let your kingdom come let your will be done father we thank you we bless you we honor you lord jesus for this um time that um we're alive to see the the signs and the wonders in in matthew 24 as the as the bible is coming real to us every day in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen amen my brothers and sisters first of all thank you holy spirit um yesterday um i had um I, I had some time with somebody, okay, and um, there were um, old old guy, but um, glory be to God, he gave his life to Christ, okay. Um, I had some time with a gentleman. Well, not a gen, he's not young, but he's a man, but um, like a granddad. And um, but the the thing is, the reason why I want to share this, thank you, Holy Spirit, I give God all the glory. The man was saying to me, "I'm an atheist. I don't believe. I don't want to hear. Leave me alone." then i don't know like um you know i don't know the holy spirit the fragrance of the holy spirit me just being nice just that yeah like overlooking overlooking that i'm a i'm an atheist i have to share this guys before i go into i said we're going to do story time then we go into the video the video is about the eclipse okay on the 8th but let me just share the man that gave his life to um to christ okay so yes he's an old man but when um he gave his life to christ and um afterwards i just thought to myself god is good because this guy was telling me about illnesses yeah now if he was stubborn how we first started yeah then i don't know but the fact that your illnesses now i am praying to the lord that the lord will deliver his illnesses that he will see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living but then even if anything happens he's going to be in paradise with jesus I and guess what just came into my spirit I love God I just love Jesus I love that the Holy Spirit's here by the way so um what just came into my spirit was when the Holy when the Lord was on the cross and uh, he said to one of them this day you'll be in paradise with me Holy Spirit just gave me that anything that happens to this man if God decides that you know what I'm going to heal you I'm going to give you time to go and spread the gospel the little that the little assignment that God will give him Glory be to God. But then even if God decided to take him, he will be in paradise. God just said, he gave me that scripture that when they were on the cross, there was two of them. And then the Lord said to one of them, you'll be in paradise with me today. Glory be to God. That's what I'm saying. When people are like, ah, oh, I'm scared of dying. The reason why you're scared, because you don't know where you're going. But when you read the scriptures and you understand who you're going to, ah, glory be to God. That some of you need to just go and sit in Revelations. Just go and read the book of Revelations. Yeah, it starts off all, oh my God. But then when you, and, and when you know the Holy Spirit, when you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, you, you won't fear death because it talks about eternal life. There's a life after this life. And glory be to God. Some of us have had encounters. Some of us have gone heaven. Some of us have spoken to Jesus. Some of us have seen Jesus. But remember, the Bible says, blessed are those that have not seen. So don't be eager to see, yeah? God shows you what he wants you to see, okay? Praise God, because some of you think that this whole being a seer is some kind of like, I don't know. 
it comes with its territory. Okay, praise God. But anyway, the man gave his life to Christ. I was so happy. I was so happy. And this is what I love about Jesus. Jesus is not about color. Yeah, the guy was uh, in English. English, yeah, 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 you get me. You know, right? So we give God all the glory, what he's doing. We give God all the glory, what he's doing. And also, to bring to my attention, yeah, I didn't mean to go this way, but the Holy Spirit wants to go this way. Now, so glory be to God, Steve gave his life to Christ. <laughs> Happy days. You know, like, just one person giving their life to Christ. Heaven rejoices! Glory be to God. Okay, so guys, let me get into this because I don't want to keep you on the Sabbath, on your family time. I don't want to keep you. So now, um, this ministry that I'm going to share, okay, I, I'm get, I'm excited. Like, when I thought that um, Stephen Darby cannot be topped off, like, that, that ministry to me was like, ah, oh, yeah, Pastor Stephen Darby. If you don't know Pastor Stephen Darby, look in YouTube and write Pastor Stephen Darby. Boom. His sermons will come up, okay? Now, um, another thing. Well, I'm talking about face value, judging people, okay? I started following this guy. Someone told me follow this guy because he was a young guy, but he loved God. That like, he was on point, a young prophet, yeah? So um, we got connected. Um, this is how I got this ministry that I'm going to tell you guys in the description box to follow, okay? Right. So now... This guy started telling me he's young. He started telling me he's a young king. He started telling me he's, um, he's like, uh, we got connected Facebook, but through somebody else. And then he started telling me his life and stuff and how God delivered him and stuff like that. And it was from this music, like, um, you know, rap music. Um, I want to be that guy rapping, women, alcohol. The guy told me his whole um, life, yeah. And then I was like, how did it happen? How did you give your life to Christ? What the guy did is that, woman of God, check this ministry out, yeah? Because I told him, I've got, this was what, 20, yeah, this is 2022. I told him that I have a youth ministry. So then I was like, you know, the black boys, young boys, this, that, that. He's been there, done that. Guys, this guy is not black. This is what I'm saying. You need to be careful because God, I said it in one of my videos, your help is not going to come the way you think. Your miracle is not going to come from who you think it's going to come from. And you might miss it, yeah? God is doing big things in little places. Okay, let me tell you how it went, right? So this Spanish, I don't yeah, I don't know if it's Spanish, Columbus, um, Brazilian, I don't know. But all I know is based in um, Sweden, yeah? We got connected. We're not connected anymore. I'm telling you the, the, I'm telling you the testimony, how I got this ministry, okay? Now, these are two ministries that I think are good. Um, Steve Darby and this guy here, yeah? People that have searched, and not even that, They've searched the truth out and they've tasted. They've gone in and come out and God's, God's delivered them, them himself, okay? Now, the guy said to me, uh, woman of God, let me send you a ministry. I was like, say what? One white boy? White, Caucasian, dis disclaimer, yeah? Now, the boy, he sent me this ministry. This is 2022, yeah? Uh, Mayish that time. So now, the ministry is called Revelations. I don't know if you can see it, yeah? revelations can you see it revelations of jesus christ yeah i'm going to put the link in the description box the revelations of jesus christ is based in atlanta okay he's i don't even know if he's spanish what i don't know yeah but um his his missus is um black okay now the both of them do this ministry, but it's mostly the man, okay? Because that's what the law says, okay? But yes, they both do it together. But basically, the man is the one that, you know, comes on and gives the word and fishes out what he, 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 the word of God and everything. Guys, let me tell you something. When I think, when I thought that nothing can top, he, I wouldn't even say he tops Steve Darby, but they're on that level of Pastor Steve Darby. God bless you so they're on that level where you know that you know when you listen to this stuff and you get the word of God and the scriptures, you search out the scriptures, you know that you know that these people know what they're talking about. When you're searching out the scriptures, you've got the Holy Spirit, you ask the Holy Spirit to help you. This ministry, my friends, my brothers and sisters, parents, I'm here to help you today. If you have a child that's in that demonic industry and they've gone in there and they don't want to listen to you, 
send this, send them the link of the ministry. Go and see which video would touch that child and send it to that child. Family member, child, uncle, who, cousin. If you have been praying for a long time, I'm helping you now. And that child is into that. I want to be a rapper. I want to be this. I want to be that industry, Hollywood, whatever, sense, um, Satan stuff. What? Send him this ministry. Yeah. Guys, this man has done his homework. This man has done his homework. Now, as I said to you guys, youth ministry. Some, some of them just, they were delivered. I send them the links. Now they're on, on gone. Like, what is it on job? That You know the youth say on job. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Their eyes are open. Yeah. There's sometimes, even now, what I was just about to say, time and seasons. Yeah. I can speak to my own and they won't listen. God will raise up someone for that child to listen because the child is already, the, the seed has already been there. The seed has already been put in. Yeah. Your job as a mother, as a woman of God, that you, if that's if you're born again, I, guys. I talk to people over here that you know Jesus or you want to know Jesus, okay? Now, for those children that you've got your children, you've been praying, 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 and the child's not listening, send them this, send them to this ministry. Send them this ministry. This man has done his homework. You're in Atlanta and you're looking for someone that you want to like. <sighs> this guy is based in Atlanta. The link is in the description box. You are looking for people to teach you the right way, the things of God, the things of, when I say God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ of Yeshua, Nazareth, okay? They will teach you, okay? There's no excuse because some people are like, oh, oh, what church should I go to? Yeah. There's no excuse. God would always send you a helper. This video is, a uh, today I'm your destiny helper. Today I am your destiny helper. God has sent me to tell you there is hope through this ministry. Those that want to listen, I'm going to put the link in the description box. Okay. I've said it. Those of you who want to go into YouTube and just type the ministry revelations of Jesus Christ. Okay. The last video that he just done is the one I'm going to um, put today because it talks about um, the occult side of the um, eclipse. Okay. Now, I think I've talked about this ministry for a long time now. So guys, if you have young people, they're not listening to you and they've gone into that whole Hollywood, want to be a rapper, want to be famous, send this, send the ministry. Go to the video that you want and then send it to the young person or if they're not even young, your uncle, your auntie, your child, your cousin, whosoever, send them the ministry, your loved ones. Now, um, what was I saying? Hi, Chrissy. How are you? Last night I was talking to Chrissy. Chrissy, how are you? I had to check on my sister Chrissy because I heard New York, New Jersey, um, um, Philly earthquake. Now, you can go back to my... Actually, I'll link it. i done a video. Not I, the Holy Spirit. Warned 2021, tell my children to get out of New York. Those that your children are God, the Lord warned you guys to get out out of new york okay so now earthquake in new york i just think this is just like you see when um, a woman is getting into labor these are just the little testing the the um the pains little like what is coming for that new york disclaimer get out of new york if you are a child of god and you come and get you see this video get out of new york okay now um so yes, we, I was checking on Chrissy. I was like, Chrissy, are you good? What's happening? He's like, yeah, I, 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 there was an earthquake, but I was cool. She's a child of God. As far as her and her family, they're fine. Glory be to God. Yeah. She, um, she's in Philly. So I had to check up. I even had to get my other, um, you know, women of God that uh, to check on Chrissy. But I, I had already touched base with her. And then later on, they said, no, she's fine. Cool. Now. This is what I love about Jesus. His children are everywhere. We are scattered everywhere. But you know what? I make a point to be my brother's keeper. Like I check on the ones that the Lord says, check on this one, check on this one, check on this one. Glory be to God. Now, so me and Chrissy was talking. I said, Chrissy, you know what? Yeah. Um, this thing, Eclipse, is bigger than what people think. You've got people that don't understand spiritual things. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm taking my family. I'm driving to go and see the Eclipse. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus. Guys, the Bible says if my people would just humble themselves 
and pray. Seek my face and pray. The Bible says, if my people humble themselves, seek my face and pray. The Bible says, watch and pray. This is a time to watch and pray. This is not a time to be, uh, you know, I said, Chrissy, there's too much noise. There's too much noise. This one, that one, this one, this one. Now we've got clips. So now, guys, um, I also put, um, I also done CERN, CERN, yeah? Um, yeah, it was about 2021, I think, 20, 2021, 2022. I'll link that video again, but do I need to? Mm, okay, I'll link CERN again, okay? So it will be New York, it will be CERN, I'll link it again, okay? Now, Eclipse. When I think of Eclipse, when I think of, mm, for a few seconds or what, it's going to be dark. Guys, now, if you go and listen to, um, if you go and watch the CERN, and then we told you that CERN, um, um, brother, brother Joseph done a video on CERN again, yeah? Because remember, I always use brother Joe again because he's another good one that, you know, um, does the teaching properly, gets the homework so you guys can understand what's going on. Now, when I, this disclaimer, this is just my point of view. This is not the gospel, okay? When I think about, I was saying to Christy, when I think about CERN, I think it's bigger than, it's bigger than what human beings think. It will be dark for a season or whatever, for, for a bit, I don't know how long, yeah? Guys, they tell us that they've already opened portholes in, in the CERN thing. Disclaimer. Now, this thing is happening. Now, what do you actually think is going to be open in them seconds? And you're going down there to look, to look, because you're human. You, you just, I just want to look. <laughs> Anyways, listen, yeah. Wisdom. The Bible tells us wisdom at all times. If I have intercessors around the world or your intercessor and you're with this ministry, please pray, 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 pray. Pray. <clears throat> Pray. They've already opened portholes with their stone stuff. Yeah. Now, this thing is going to, however, it's going to happen. I don't know. Yeah. But for me, I, I think to myself, mm, Lord, it's bigger than that. Show me, speak to me. Yeah. In them seconds where it's dark or whatever's going on, guys. Let's pray. Let's pray. Did I come and tell you God said? No, 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 no. I said my opinion from what I've been seeing. The sun, the this, the that. And then it's going to be dark for a few seconds. What, what demonic things are being released into the earth? Now, we, I came on 2022. I talked about the horses. Go back to Revelation 6 and 7. The horses that have been released, people are just doing things that, that you know, uh, it was um, the spirit of death was released. All the horses represent something. Go and read it yourself, okay? Those that are, uh, are readers of the word of God. Nothing just happens, guys. And if you don't read your Bible, when your media tells you something, you just get excited and follow like a goat. But then the Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. You gotta, we're in times when you have to question things. Lord, what is this? What's going on? Yeah, so much noise over who? One guy. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't even want to mention his name. Then now we've entered April. Eclipse, eclipse, eclipse. But do people sit down and ask God, like, what's really happening? What's, what's, Jesus, what's your views on this? Holy Spirit, give me some download on this. Right, guys. This eclipse thing, yeah. I'm going to put the link, yeah, of um, revelations of Jesus Christ, his um, views on the eclipse, yeah. His views. The link is going to be in the description box. I've just told you my my views. I think that. 
something is taking place in them few times. They're going to use it as an advantage. Yeah, that's what I think. Am I saying it's the gospel? No. But if the Lord comes and tells me, oh, actually, he's some light on it. I'll come back and tell you. If he tells me to come back, I'll come back and tell you. But my thing is, guys, if you're a child of God, this is the time to seek God's face, pray fast like never before. If you've been, whatever you've been doing it, do it more. If you've been praying for three hours, make it six. I'm being very serious. If you can do it, make it six. Double whatever you've been doing. You need to start doubling it because of the times that we're in. Also, my sister was like, bro, Chrissy was telling me these days, it's like I'm sleeping and I'm like praying. She's on the wall. She knows what time it is. Yeah. Most of the ladies that I'm connecting to, prayer is our food. Praying and fasting. Because we want to hear what, what's the Lord saying. And another thing, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord loves his people. Just as it was then, is how it is now. He will just, he, all, all he's saying is, I just need someone. I just need a vessel, yeah? Because I need to tell, God wants to tell his people what is coming, what to do, and how to prepare. So that's why he will say, my children, if you humble yourselves, seek my face, yeah, and pray. Watch and pray. Thessalonians, pray until season, yeah. So guys, today I've come on. I'm a bit jokey. I love you guys. Those that you listen, the Bible says, those that have ears, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord says. I love you. Don't take things personal. Take what you have to take from this. Go to the link. Check out the link. Educate yourself. Those that you 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 have me and I've already sent you the link. <laughs> Please, I pray that you go to your WhatsApp and you, you look at the link. Yeah? Because what people don't understand is, you see prophets? You're not going to... Today, you might have me there. Tomorrow, you might not have me there. This is what people take advantage of when you have a woman of God or a man of God in your circles. And you think, yeah, they're going to always be there. Yeah, the Lord has allowed me to say this. We're not always going to be there. Yeah, God places them prophets in your, in your, it, around you for a season. So best believe if you have them around you and they're teaching you and they get, don't take it lightly. Because there's going to be time, there's coming a time when God is removing his prophets. He's sh sh shifting them around. Yeah. Other people need them. Other people need the anointing. Other people need the word. Other people need the push. So I pray that if you have a good prophet, apostle, teacher around you, make the most of it, you know, in love. Okay. So what was I going to say? Guys, I love you very much. Um, I'm going to put the links what else was I going to say? I'm going to put the links, guys. I love you very much. It's a season of praying. Pray, 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 pray. It's not, and, and, and that's the thing as well. Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's not everything I can come and say here. Number one, some of you are not even ready. Look at the one that I done, a uh, Puff Daddy. He's like, oh, uh, uh, did she really say that? <laughs> so some things the Lord would just say, they're not ready. Keep it to yourself. I'll let you know when to release it. But in what I will say with all humility, yeah, pray. That's if you're a child of God, pray, seek God, have time in the word of God, have, have family time, have time with the ones that you love. Guys, I'm not trying to scare people. The Bible, not my words, the Bible says tomorrow is not promise. Yeah. Did you, did you, did you think that they knew that the, the, the people that are in the war now in Ukraine, did you think that one day they'll be sleeping do, 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 bombs everywhere? Yeah. Come on guys. Yeah. Seek God with your all God, the Lord Jesus Christ of Yeshua. Yeah. Make sure that if you're a born again, Christian, you, you are right with God. You don't have no drama with people. Your heart is right. Okay. If anything happens as we started in the beginning of the video, Today, you've been paradise with me. That's what the Lord said to that guy on, on one side of him. Now, um, I just want to give opportunity to somebody out there, guys. Yeah, Whoever wants to give their life to Christ, 
just repeat after me okay i love you guys dearly like the video share the video share the link yeah because the man of god says in this video share this link the link actually i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put anything else down there because i want this link to be shared yeah um go back on my video and look for the new york video go back on my video and look for the cern video on my channel go back and look for the new york the warning for you new york the cern video go there um also um i remember I, I don't know if it was last year when new york done a um telling people how to prepare for a nuclear bomb go back on that video now on this link i'm not gonna i'm just gonna put this link because i want people to watch it and share it okay i'm not gonna put any other link because i don't want to uh, i don't i don't want to um um i don't want to confuse people i'm gonna put this one link only for this ministry um revelations of jesus christ he's in atlanta with his family with his wife they do the ministry together okay now please follow that ministry now thank you for my friend in in um sweden the one that gave me this ministry in the first place god bless you okay you're in sweden down there all right and i keep telling you guys stop judging people color big ministry little ministry da -da 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 -da. god can do whatever he wants to do he can use listen Anyway, glory be to God. Right. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. Those that want to give their life to Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. And I ask for your forgiveness. And I believe that you died for my sins and rose from the dead on the third day. I turn, my, I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life. I want to trust you and follow you as my Lord and Saviour. If you have said this, congratulations, you are born again. The Lord Jesus Christ, he died, he reigns, and he's coming back. When? We don't know. <laughs> he said he's coming back. We, no one knows the time, the hour. We don't know, okay? But I love you so much, and, um, you know, enjoy your Sabbath. I love you guys. To the next time, God bless you. Pray fast. Um, love on people. Tell people about the gospel of Jesus Christ and tell him that he will be returning. Do we know when? No, nobody knows the hour, the time. But do you know what? Go and read Matthew 20, Matthew 20, 24, okay? All right, be blessed. The link is in the description box because I want you guys to um, go and see what he says about the eclipse. It's mind-blowing, yeah? Hollywood, what? Go and have, watch what he's going to tell you guys, okay? God bless you. Till the next time.